In the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, all them bitches is single. You taking relationship advice from a bunch of bitches that don't even got a man. A couple of my last videos, maybe a few videos back or whatever, I was giving some type of relationship advice. And one of my friends was like, how you giving relationship? It was a girl. She told me, she's like, how you giving relationship advice when you not even in a relationship? Like your relationship didn't work. Good y'all, it's your boy Zeus, man. Like, subscribe to the channel, man. We back with another one. Here to talk to you guys about your relationship and your friends being involved in your relationship. There's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't take your friends' advice on a relationship, but I'm gonna give you guys a few ones and you can tell me whether you agree with it or not. Rule number one, the reason why you don't take your friends' advice when it comes to your relationship is because us as people, we could only judge people based off of two things, how they look and what they're telling us out their mouth. We don't know exactly what they're thinking. We don't know their motive. We don't know what's on the inside. We don't know how they feel. We don't know nothing about the inside. All we could do is take face value what's on the outside. So if they appear to be genuine and sincere, and they appear to be like they're, they're there for you, then most of the time you gravitate towards that, but really you don't, you really don't know what that person's motive is. You don't know what their intentions are. You don't know what they're thinking, how they're feeling. You don't even know if they're really your friend or not. You don't know if they envy what you have. That's something that you definitely want to think about. Me personally, I don't give relationship advice. I got plenty of friends that come to me when they're going through shit with they nigga. And I got friends that come to me when they're going through shit with they girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't give relationship advice. I'm more like a listening ear. I'll just listen. Sometimes I don't even agree. Sometimes I'll just listen. You know what I'm saying? But basically, I'm not sitting there telling you what you should and you shouldn't do as far as your nigga and, or your female because I'm only getting one side of the story and that's just, uh, I don't really know the full story on what you're going through. Like, at the end of the day, behind closed doors, you could be playing up with some shit you're embarrassed to talk to me about, but you're not bringing it up when you're talking about this specific situation. So I don't like to get caught up in people's relationship. Like even my friends, I don't give my opinion when it comes to their relationship, no matter what they're going through. You gotta be careful because your friends are your friends. If you going through it with your man, you going through it with your girl, venting to your friend, they gonna be on your side most of the time. They gonna be like, yeah, like they gonna be agreeing with you whether you right or wrong. So you gotta be very careful on what you share with your friends when it comes to your relationship because you want them to remain your friends. And more than likely, you're going to probably end up going back to that person. So when shit boils over, you might end up looking stupid because you was doing all this complaining just to go back to the person. I had a situation where I was dealing with this girl. For a while, she was doing a good job with keeping her friends out. But like sometimes we would have these arguments and then like when we're reconnecting, when we're talking to each other, we're talking these situations out. She's like, oh yeah, this person told me this and this person told me that. And even though I wouldn't say nothing because like we're, you know what I mean, we're reconnecting we're healing the situation i wouldn't say that in the back of my mind i'm thinking like all them bitches is single you taking relationship advice from a bunch of bitches that don't even got a man a couple of my last videos maybe a few videos back or whatever i was giving some type of relationship advice and one of my friends was like how you giving relation it was a girl she told me she's like how you giving relationship advice when you're not even in a relationship like your relationship didn't work it's not only one person's job to make the relationship work first of all it's two people's job to make the relationship work. Cause it's half and half, you feel me? I played a role in it, but it's not 100% my fault that the relationship didn't work. The universe has to align these two people at the perfect time in order for it to work. It's not like, I know all of this shit about relationships and all of that. No, I don't know everything. I'm still a work in progress as well. I'm still learning as I go as well, but I'm talking about based off of my experiences. This is what I'm telling you. I could definitely talk about relationships. Any relationship that I was, like my shortest relationship was a, a year. I only had a few relationships, but all of my relationships were long-term. So I feel like I definitely can talk about relationships. If you disagree, you could definitely comment. And another thing is like, when you go through a relationship, every relationship is a different experience. If you're not no dummy, in every relationship, you're gonna learn something. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna learn what you do like, what you don't like in a person, what you are gonna put up with, what you ain't gonna put up with, what the deal breakers are. gonna be able to, learn as you go you know what i mean so you might think you have all of these things but as you get older shit starts changing you got to be willing to keep those people out like friends families all of these people because they only judging from the outside looking in 
And then they're judging from what you're telling them when you're upset. They're not happy they self. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's what's up. Ah, ah. And then they're going to forget about it. But when you're mad, they're going to act like they're 100% there for you because misery loves company. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to be lonely. Your single friends, they're going to push you to be single because they miss you. They miss you chilling with them. They miss you interacting with them and stuff like that. So any little situation, they're going to definitely push you in that direction. So... If I was you, I would just keep the outside out. I mean, even the social media, all that shit. Keep all that shit off of social media. Keep your business to yourself because let's just say you do have a falling out and that shit goes public. It's that much harder to recover because now you got everybody else's opinion. You might forgive and forget, but it's that much harder now because you not made that shit public to the world. All your friends, this is how you feel, this is how you feel. You're just going to look stupid. Now you're in a conflict between your pride and who you actually are, how you actually feel, you know what I'm saying? Basically, what it all boils down to is don't keep the other people out, man. Leave them, let them deal with their situation. You deal with yours, you keep your personal shit. Anything that brings you down, you, you deal with that shit internal, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to have a support system. It's okay to, um, but just make sure you have the right support system. Like I said, there's plenty of people that come to me for advice, and I just don't, I don't tell them what to do. When they're telling me I'm not judging them from no type of perspective people be really sounding crazy sometimes you know what i mean going through whatever they're going through but they're going to tell you whatever they want to tell you i don't get caught up in what they're telling me i try to be there for them be there support for them but i'm not giving advice on what you should do and what you shouldn't do on that note i'm out like subscribe to the channel man more content coming i apologize for the little gap it's been a few days but more content coming I'm, I'm gonna try to be more on top of it if you like what you see man like subscribe to the channel man you already know what to do i'm out